Let's rehome and feed my pumpkin patch tarantula baby. This spiderling is so cute. Sorry for my dirty hands. I was just taking care of the other spider enclosures. But look at the pretty colors on this little guy. I'm not one to handle my spiders often, but I do sometimes. Can't help it. <laughs> They're just so cute. These guys are definitely a very docile species. They hail from Colombia. Okay, so let's show you his little enclosure that I built and also listen to the music I have playing in the background. Definitely a drastic change in that coming soon. Such a cute little guy or girl, not exactly sure of the sex yet. In a few moments, you'll see me drop in a fruit fly with very shaky hands. Sorry, I have uh, tremors. There's a little fly for you. I love the way he takes down. He's definitely uh, my most food food oriented spider. Some more info on this species. They're called the Hapalopus formosus or Hapalopus sp columbia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The males typically live three to four years, whereas females will live around eight to 10 years. So really hoping that this guy is not a guy and actually a girl. Obviously we wanna keep our little spider friends as long as possible especially when they look this gorgeous yet again struggling with another fruit fly uh you should put these guys in the fridge not the spider the fruit flies <laughs> so that they're slow and easier to handle but i'm very impatient so i go right in with them moving around I love seeing him add more webbing. Spiders that just web a lot, absolutely love them. It's just so amazing to see. So this guy when fully grown will be around eight to 10 centimeters. So not too large, but definitely a cute size. Like I mentioned earlier, they are a very docile species. So, um, if you'd like to handle them, you can. I don't really recommend handling your spiders too much. It's very stressful for them. Uh, this guy has definitely kicked a few hairs at me as a little one, so he's, he's feisty. As a New World Tarantula, their venom is not really that potent. It's, it's not medically significant like most spiders. Obviously, if you're allergic, please seek medical attention. They are a terrestrial species, but it's good to also have a little bit of room and stuff to climb on at the top for them to web. They do burrow, so having adequate amount of substrate is definitely needed. Look at him just adding more webbing. I can't get over it, it's just so cute. Like most tarantulas, they do have urticating hairs that they will kick off on you. It's really important to not get these on you, especially near your nose, mouth, or eyes. A lot of people have actually had to have surgeries for getting urticating hairs in their eyes, and that's absolutely terrifying. So yeah, stay away from those hairs. I proceed to try and entice him with a live fly, but I don't think he's very hungry. Usually he eats around like four or five flies. So I'm gonna leave those two in there just for a little bit, and then take them out. It's really important to not leave live prey in with your spider. They could hurt them, especially if your spider is going into pre-molt or is molting. So yeah, be sure to remove those guys. 
Just gonna admire him for a few seconds before putting him away. I hope you enjoyed feeding and watching this beautiful spider with me. Follow Creepy Kitty Critters for more.